What is up guys, it is Simpish back again with another video. This is the third time recording this one. Um, this is about Bedrock Connect, and what Bedrock Connect is, is a little uh, DNS server that allows you to use your Switch or your Xbox One to connect to custom IP servers. They're basically ones that are hosted by Realms, and ones that are not in the featured list like Mindville and stuff like that. Now, I don't have an Xbox to show you the process over there, but it should be very similar if you go to the IP settings in your settings. But I'm going to walk you through how to do it on this. I do not have video output on a Switch Lite, so I'm going to describe it to you as best as possible. You're, gonna go to, you're at your main menu, you want to go to System Settings, scroll down to Internet, Internet Settings, and it's going to say searching for networks it's probably it takes a second and you're selecting network that you're currently connected to and you're going to go to change settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says dns settings which it should be set to automatic if it's set to manual and you've already set in dns server uh you're i'm going to show you what to set your primary dns to let's switch it to manual and it should give you a primary and secondary dns and for your primary, you're going to want to put this up on your primary. For your secondary, I typically recommend Cloud Players DNS. So if you got it all set up nice and good, it should look like this. If yours is set up like mine, then you're good to go. Uh, what's left for you to do is you boot up Minecraft on your Switch or your Xbox. And you sign into if you're on a switch make sure you sign into a Microsoft account so you can connect to the servers um, just waiting for it to load when you find get to your server list it should say connect uh, connect to open server list and every server on the featured list will have zero out of 20 uh, players in it and if you see that you know you've done it right so, you know, like I said, make sure you're signed into your Microsoft account. It's fetching servers right now. And as you can see, once it loads their MOTDs, they all say join the open server list. They all have zero out of 20 of them. Make sure you're on your featured servers. And it doesn't matter which one you can. Oh. I'm out of focus. Hello. Um, it doesn't matter which one you connect to. So, just select one. Pick your favorite color. I don't know. And you just wait for it to connect. And what Pugmat? Pugmat's the uh, developer of this. This is super cool. This adds. This like completes these versions of minecraft for me this is what it was missing it's like i'm restricted to only like what six servers and paid and i have to pay uh moyang for a regular server that people on different networks can connect to it's a joke now if you liked servers like the hive mindplex cubecraft games lifeboat and mindville those are not gone when you connect to the server list, which looks like this, by the way. Ooh. Looks like that. Um, I mean, you can see all those servers are listed. And I had a server called Fallen Tech on my uh, list, which is not normal. So, at the very top, you'll have connect server and remove a server. You just, it, when you add a server, you want to hit that connect to a server if I can get it focused but you can see that it has the server address it'll automatically fill out the port for you or make sure that the server uses the uh, typical bedrock port and at the bottom it'll have a switch that says add to server list which basically means do you want to make this permanent or is it just like a direct connect that you might not play on this one again but for me, I have added Fallen Tech to my uh, server list, so I'm going to connect to that. 
and if you want, I'll leave a link to a I a server aggregator so you can find servers in the description. I'll also leave Pugmat's GitHub for Bedrock Connect because you don't necessarily have to use what's up here. This is just easier. You can set it up yourself, but I feel like that's really complicated and unnecessary. But as you can see, we are in Fallen Tech, a Minecraft be uh, Bedrock server that normally you would have to be on a phone or a PC to play. Now, one of the reasons that uh, they may have restricted these servers is that they can't guarantee performance, so the server might lag. They can't get to guarantee your performance that the server might lag you on the device end because, you know, they can't control how crazy or how complex the buildings are in the server, which I don't think should matter. But these are pretty unreasonable reasons. Uh, but uh, this adds what was missing from the Switch version and Xbox version of Minecraft. So this is all I have. If you liked this video, if you thought it was cool, if I added a feature, or I didn't add it, Pugmat did. Don't forget that. Um, if I helped you discover a feature for your version of Minecraft and you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like comment if you didn't like it or if you have questions drop a question if you disliked it dislike it so if you like these videos subscribe for more I, I might be making more of these I'm probably going to make it like some Jojo content because I really like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure so stay tuned for that um, but otherwise this has been Sipish and this is how you connect your Nintendo Switch or Xbox One to any server that is from oh wait I have to show you one more thing um, if you watch my last video I showed you how to connect a bedrock server or a bedrock client on like PC to a Java server <coughs> and I would like just like to demonstrate that the process is oop, I'm moving myself around that this is universal this does work for switch so basically you have to use geyser which if you don't know what geyser is like I said check out the last video I showed you how to set it up it's really really cool and uh, yeah if you mix these two things together you get a working uh, Java server on your switch and I'm going to disconnect from Fallen Tech I just want to demonstrate that this works I, and I think uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in the last video is that Geyser MC the uh, proxy for Java and Bedrock is pretty much plugin uh, plugin agnostic. It doesn't matter what plugins you have on your server. So if it's a bucket server, obviously if it's modded, that's not gonna work. This is just not gonna work in any capacity. But if it's a plugin server using bucket spigot sponge, if that's what you're into, then yeah, it's gonna work. But otherwise. You're, it's just your SOL basically I'm connecting to the server list right now I have if I want to show you uh, oh, I keep moving myself if I want to show you I have my geyser running and I just connect to the server
well it's not loading it's not loading for me right now because it's doing its little goofy thing but basically it'll just ask you for your uh, Java edition login because you do need Java and it will work on the switch just trust me so I hope you all like this video have a good day all the things I said before about liking commenting disliking subscribing still true and you all have a blessed day